So first of all, congratulations on the show and the success so far. Thank you. Thank you. So what can we expect from your characters in season eight? I mean, obviously, I can't tell you really what to expect. He's, in a, he's going to be left in a quandary because, you know, his main employers, the Lannisters, it's like it's all gone, everything. Jamie's buggered off. Right. And he did, without telling him, he didn't leave him a text, nothing. <laughs> um, so he, I think he's going to be in a quandary because he's not going to give up on, uh, you know, his goal, which is castle, big castle. And so he's like, what is he going to have to do to get that? So, yeah, we can, he's got some decisions to make. Right. After investing so many years on the show, what's it like to finally say goodbye? I mean, it's such a incredible, it's a really incredible job to be part of. So, and every every season, you know, finding out that you'd made it, I'd made it through, which I didn't expect. It's right. like Christmas. So, it, it was uh, it was really sad to say goodbye to, to the whole experience, and and uh, you know, you you become close to everybody. It's like a family. Right. Um, yeah. And yeah, this was an extra special, it was a really special job, there's no doubt about it. So it was quite, it was kind of surreal and, uh, and uh, moving to, walk, to kind of step away. And what would you say is the biggest challenge so far that you've had to face? I think it's the, well, for me it's the physical aspect, um, wearing a very, really, really heavy costume that's about 40 kilos and having to fight in that, you know, and I'm, yeah, that, that was really tough. Yeah, I'd say that and that and kind of trying not to laugh when I'm if I was you know <laughs> acting with Peter. Um, but some of the fights, like the fight when I first stood up for Peter, um, with the Eerie, was really uh, partly because of what I was wearing at that time because it was a big heavy costume. But it, unlike rehearsal, there was there'd been wax all over the floor, and I didn't have any grips on my shoes um, and it was a very intense fight it was a great fight so it was intense yeah so I had to that was um, a really that was probably the most challenging day physically yeah. did you ever think your character's arc would end like this from when you first started I had no idea I had no I had no idea I was going to make it this far I thought I was only going to be in season three um, uh, and that was it so I, I'm completely surprised yeah what about you well, yeah, I, I obviously can't tell you where he does That's end up. That's true. <laughs> and I didn't, I had no idea. I w it was quite a thing, you know, over the years to, because I, a couple of times, you know, I met George and it was very hard. I found myself in a bar with him. We'd had a few drinks. It was very hard not to try and squeeze out of him <laughs> what was coming, you know. So, but I still didn't know until we got this final script. Who would you like to see take the Iron Throne? I'd like Jon Snow to take the throne. I think he's the best I'd, candidate. Yeah, I think he would be the people's choice if I was, you know, I wish he could come and uh, right. take over here. <laughs> <laughs> if you could have any Game of Thrones character as a confidant in real life, who would you pick? Actually, this guy would be pretty, Beric's pretty solid guy. He was, yeah, he could keep a secret. And he's got a pure, you know, he's got a pure intent to yeah. him. So, I mean, not that I don't think Bronn would pick him, but Jerome <laughs> might, you know, Go to him for some counsel. Yeah, I, and I think Beric would go to himself. <laughs> 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 now that Thoros is gone, he would obviously Thoros, but uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and lastly, the show has a really epic way of creating some epic death scenes. So if you could choose the way your character dies, how would you have it go down? If I could chose my own death, yeah, I'd, I would have gone for something her heroic. I know Bronn wants, probably wants to be lying back uh, in his castle. Uh, entangled with some gorgeous lady, that's probably his wish. But which actually, that's not a bad one. <laughs> um, but I would have gone for you know saving, maybe saving Tyrion or something in, uh, in battle. That would have been a nice way to go. Yeah. Maybe it is the way he goes. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> what about you? Oh, I I would love to go down fighting the the Night King or a dragon. Or the, the the Syrian, the right. blue yeah. fire dragon. <laughs> Thank you so much for the chat. I'm wishing you all the best. Thank you, and you. Thank you.